Welcome everyone! Happy Wednesday, I believe it is, and I am Claire Jones, owner of Luminal Clarity. If we haven't already met, I am an intuitive flow expert for women visionaries, innovators, and creators who want to achieve more in less time with less stress, because I know that life. <laughs> so I'm jumping on today to talk about how we can increase creativity, productivity, innovation, and aligned flow even in times of change, stress, and or transformation. Continuing with the social planets today. So if you're catching me live or if you're watching a replay, say hello, comment, comment, tell us where you're tuning in from and what your Jupiter and Saturn placements are. These are the social planets. So before I get into the nitty gritty here, I wanted to let you know that I'm opening up three spaces to those of you out there who want to move in harmony with your truest selves by cultivating intentional flow and productivity to achieve your life's work with joy and ease. So if you're interested, book a call with me. I'll put the link in the comments here. If you're watching us on YouTube, it's going to be in the description. So now, why am I talking about the social planets today? Uh, these planets are less personal than the inner planets that we covered yesterday. Jap Jupiter and Saturn represent how we relate to the world around us. Saturn rules government, traditions, and society, representing contraction and limitation, the structures, those limits that we place around ourselves as a society. And then Jupiter rules religion, philosophy, and humor, representing expansion and limitless possibilities. So they're kind of like two sides of the coin here. Saturn forces us to mature and participate in society as a dependable adult, being both accountable to ourselves and others, where Jupiter, on the other hand, orients us towards philosophy and spirituality through shared belief systems. So since Jupiter and Saturn move slowly, their sign placements reveal less about our individual nature than our sun, moon, ascendant, and inner planets. As they orbit the sun from the position of the earth, Jupiter remains in one sign for a year, while Saturn stays for two and a half years. By comparison, the sun moves through a sign every month and the moon every two and a half days. So for me, my Saturn is in Capricorn and my Jupiter is in Cancer. So for Saturn, that means I am ambitious, pragmatic, and determined in the realm of families and careers. Personal integrity is super important to me, especially when it comes to my responsibilities to other people. I actually made a post today about integrity and I just think it's super important. It's one of my core values. And for those of us with Saturn in Capricorn, we typically end up in positions of authority as business people, politicians, and leaders, but we can tend toward the conservative end of the spectrum. But luckily, my Mercury is an Aquarius and my Pisces sun and moon help combat the tendency toward rigid conservatism. For Jupiter, that means I am an innate nurturer, willing to support anyone who is struggling. I generate joy, safety, and abundance by creating a stable home life for myself and prioritizing feeding my inner emotional world. That's the cancer at play here. Over the years, I've learned that I absolutely hate moving. <laughs> I've moved 18 times in the past 32 years, and once I was in charge of my own moving schedule, I stopped doing it. And I thrive when I have a settled, safe home base to retreat to when I need to listen to my intuition. Yet, like all cancer placements, this can turn into an overindulgence in our emotions. So as you can see, my Saturn and my Jupiter balance each other very well, combining ambition paired with emotional intelligence and empathy. So can anyone relate to this? I'm sure there are a lot of you out there. If you're interested in getting clear on your own identity, I am opening up those three spaces to those of you out there who want to achieve more and less time with less stress. So hit me up if you want to chat. But let's get into the nitty gritty with the social planets. So Saturn is the planet of obstacles, responsibility, and ambition. So it forces us to mature by presenting us with adversity. So where do we make the same mistakes time and time and time again? Where are we resisting evolving into mature, responsible adults? 
and how do we achieve mastery in our lives. Yet, it also points to how we can turn our weaknesses into strengths. So this is how we can best achieve our long-term goals. So let's look at Saturn and Leo, for example. These placements place great emphasis on the need for recognition. That's the Leo. They want to be in charge and assume great responsibility. They yearn to have an audience and a vehicle for their creative gifts and must develop mastery around authentic creative expression versus constantly performing a false facade for the sake of validation for others. In contrast, let's look at Saturn and Aquarius. So these placements have innovative and original ideas around how to create an enlightened and evolved society. So aptly blending pragmatism and systemization of Saturn with the innovation and originality of Aquarius, they can easily turn into polarizing iconoclasts, politicians, and entertainers. So they must be aware of becoming too scientific and logical, instead balancing their efforts with empathy and emotion. So those are the differences with Saturn in terms of the realms of ambition and responsibility. Now let's turn to Jupiter. So Jupiter is the most joyful planet, representing spirituality, humor, abundance, expansion, and luck. So what comes easily to us? This is what our Jupiter placement tells us. What doors are likely to open for us? And what do we believe in as a whole? What is our belief system? So it is also the largest planet in the solar system. So it relates to those weightier, more fundamental aspects of life. So for example, let's look at Jupiter and Virgo. So these placements attract abundance and good fortune when they engage their gifts of practicality hard work and attention to detail. They feel most expansive when they are serving the greater good and devoting themselves to others with pragmatism and careful planning. But they can become cynical and excessive worriers. So that's the downfall. But in contrast, let's look at Jupiter and Scorpio. These placements have the ability to transform people deeply and emotionally, making them excellent therapists, healers, musicians, and politicians. They shine light on whatever is hidden, exposing secrets and solving mysteries. Since they tend towards transformative ideologies, they must be wary of imposing their beliefs on others. So see how these show up differently depending on which planet is in which sign. So by understanding these placements better, we can better understand how our energies express themselves on a broader scale, society-wise. And that's pretty much it for today. So if you're interested in learning more, please book a call with me. We'll talk about the best way to create a custom mix of mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical support systems to combine the powers of neuroscience, spirituality, and wellness practices so that you can achieve your goals while having way more fun in the process. You too can reach and maintain flow state even in times of change, stress, and transformation. So I can't wait to support you all in your growth journey. In the meantime, please join me for more of these Facebook Lives where I'll be doing a deeper dive into each of these aspects and providing practical tips, tools, and recommendations. I'll be jumping on tomorrow to talk about the outer planets. So this is Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And until then, remember that your authentic self is extraordinary, it is wonderful, and you owe it to yourself to create the elevated life that you know you are capable of. Take care, everyone. Bye.